Hello, it's Jason Heath here, and I am thrilled to announce this project that Trevor Jones and I have been working on for about six months now. It's called the Double Basis Guide to Colleges. And I want to talk briefly about what it is, how it works, how you can access it. So what you do, and I will share my screen here, is you go to doublebaseblog.org slash colleges. So that's just right up here in the menu. You just doublebaseblog.org and you can choose colleges. And so what this is, is an amalgamation of information about oh, around maybe 200 United States college double base programs. So we've taken all sorts of information and put it together. And I'm going to walk you through here how you access it and navigate through this whole thing. So the first thing you see when you get here is this map of the United States. Oh, and by the way, I the hope and the plan is to eventually do this for not just the United States, but worldwide. But we had to start somewhere. And even the United States was a monumental task. So what you can do is you can pick a state. So let's pick Indi uh, yeah, Indiana. How about we do that? So we go to Indiana and Indiana loads up. Here's Indiana. Da, 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 da. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. And so what you see here is a map and you can click on any of these. The blue dots are public schools and the green dots or map locators are private schools. Okay, so that's very cool. So you can, from there, pick a, pick a school. You can say, boom, and you can click here and it'll open up. Or you can go down here and you can just see the schools that are listed. So let's go to Indiana University. By the way, that's worth uh, 2019 ISB International Society of Bases Convention is going to be. So that's very cool. And so we are loading up. Indiana University. So here's how this works. We have a little bit of information. You can click through to go to the school website. And then we have some information about the base faculty. So here is Bruce Bransby and Kurt Maroki, the two base teachers at Indiana. From this page, you can email Bruce or Kurt. You can go to their websites. And if I have interviewed them, which I've interviewed a lot of people at this point, over 400, you can click there and you can listen to an in-depth interview with them. We have some video about the faculty. And then we have information about the jazz faculty. And we are working on the jazz side. Uh, several people are helping to get some of that info in. So this is very much a work in progress. And I'll talk about that in a second. We'll continue here. So jazz-based faculty, you can learn more about the jazz program here. And then we have statistics that are coming up from the U.S. News and World Report. So this is, as somebody's looking for schools, this is hopefully going to help just sort of inform their decision. Here's how much Indiana is if you're in-state. Here it is out-of-state. Here are a few just rankings, size of the school, acceptance rate, average financial aid, and then you can learn a little bit about auditioning there. Greetings from the Jacobs School of Music. My name is Max, and I'm a current graduate student in voice here. So when we have this embedded in different, different information that we've gathered from around the web for every school. So now some different information, statistics information as we go forward here. So this is what's offered in terms of studio class, orchestra repertoire class, chamber music. And this is all information that we've gathered from the faculty at these schools. Now here's some distinctions, other lists online, other things that, that Distinguished Indiana University. They've, they're obviously, they've been top 10 colleges for all sorts of things. Uh, they were the 1995 ISB convention host. And again, they'll be the 2019 convention host. And here is what alumni are doing. And you can see Indiana, we have a lot of people that have won professional orchestra auditions. But if we click through to other schools, you'll see that there are people doing all sorts of things, not just winning auditions. And that was one of the key reasons why we started this guide. It, looking at school Schools and trying to figure out what people have done who graduated from there. If you just look at who's won an audition, that's such a narrow metric to measure a school. And so we're trying to create a more nuanced resource. So people have gone on and worked in recording studios, people who have successful freelance careers, people who are having thriving careers in music education, who are in music business, music therapy. We're trying to show exactly what people who come through schools have done. Now, here is where you can contribute, and I'm super excited about this. This is a major purpose of the guide. Here is, from the actual faculty, some of their thoughts on the school. So here's Kurt Maroki. He's writing a bit about his experience 
what he likes about the school. And again, we have this for all the schools or most of the schools going forward. Uh, and then here, and again, here's somewhere you can contribute, perspectives from students and alumni. So here are some current and former students of Indiana, things that they like about the school. And all of this will grow over time. Now we have a bit about the base faculty, Bruce Bransby, Kurt Maroki, Jeremy Allen, Todd Kuhlman. Now, as you're looking through this, let's go back. You can navigate through this all at the top. So we go back to Indiana or the guide. So we'll go to the guide. You will probably notice, almost certainly, you're like, hey, wait a minute, my school's not on here. Well, the reason is because nobody's contributed anything yet. So uh, this is a community-generated resource. And Trevor Jones and I, my partner in this endeavor, we have built out a lot. And we've gotten feedback from a lot of people, but we could use your feedback. So if you go below the map, you're going to find some other resources. So let's start with this survey. If you click on survey, open up here, and you see that you can fill out Let's say you want to talk about where you went to school. Click on the student alumni survey. This will open up. And then you just give us a little bit about you, your profession, college you attended, and then your thoughts on the school. If you want to make our lives a little bit easier, if you want to fill this out for multiple schools, which a lot of people went to multiple schools, just fill out another entry for each school you did. Then it goes into our massive spreadsheet and we can sort. So favorite memories, how did this school prepare you for your future endeavors, advice, anything you'd like to share, and that kind of thing. And and what you're doing is so helpful to us because that's what we're doing in terms of um, your profession. So whatever you're doing right now, maybe I should have picked a better phrase than your profession, but it, like me, for example, I am a blogger, I'm a podcaster, I play bass gigs, I do private teaching, I work for various companies, I would put all of that, you know, put as much as you want, and we will s synthesize all that into the guide. Now, if you teach somewhere, or you have taught somewhere, click on the base faculty survey. So that opens up, and very similar, but it's about your experiences as a base faculty member. So a lot of people, over 100, have filled that out, but that we'd love to hear that. And by the way, a lot of people, obviously, I'm fully aware that a lot of people are not uh, going to school just in the United States and are not from the United States. And I would love, on these surveys, no matter where you went to school, no matter where you live, I'd love to hear from you. Just ignore the state thing. Um, because we will be building this out to be more international. And anything you submit, we can use in the future as we build this. Okay, so we will go back to the college's guide. And we'll take a look at some of the other resources. So again, uh, there are a few states, including my beloved South Dakota, where I'm from. Uh, nobody's filled out a, a school uh, yet in these states. New Mexico, obviously there's a program there. Missouri, obviously there are programs. Alabama, and I think Vermont were missing. So if you went to school in any of those states, and Hawaii. So certainly we have schools to add, but this list is a good place to start. And as you contribute your information, whether you're a faculty member or a student, we'll continue to build out the guide. So here's a bit about the guide. And now articles and resources. Let's click on that. So we have some wonderful people from around the globe that have been contributing articles and comparisons and all that kind of thing. So we have both Andrew Seedy from Northwestern University and Danny Zeman, who is currently taking a year abroad, I think. But, I, but if I remember right, Danny has taught at SUNY Oswego and Eastman School Community Music. So these are some great uh, articles, and we have more rolling out. And if you're interested in contributing something like that, feel free to reach out, and we can we can chat about that. So... Here's Andy just talking about what he looks for in, in students. Now, we also have all these other resources in here. They're all within articles. So doublebaseball.org slash colleges slash articles. You have all of this. So here are frequently asked questions about the college process. When do college auditions occur? How many school, schools should I audition for? What kind of school? All this kind of stuff. So many, 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 many 10 practice strategies for better auditioning step-by-step -step guides to planning your audition. This is all available for free at doublebaseblog.org slash colleges. 
So that is a little bit about this uh, new resource. And I would love to have you check it out. And I would love it if you filled out and and filled up either one of those surveys, whatever makes sense for you. Share this with friends. Uh, this is something that already, we we this is the day we're publicly launching it, but it's been up in sort of private beta. And we've already had um, parents email in and say, wow, thank you so much. This is so useful. So if you find this useful, let me know and spread the word, share it with uh, people that you think it would be beneficial for. All right. Take care. Have a good day.